Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. In this video, we answer the question, why would gas transmission and pipeline companies own fiber optic internet infrastructure? So let's start off a bit higher level, and then we will get into the details. Digital infrastructure as an asset class, which includes towers, data centers, and fiber, has recently become essential and utility-like in nature given that it is leased on long-term contracts, think 10 or more years, and has recurring cash flow streams. This utility-like nature of digital infrastructure is similar in many ways to other types of infrastructure, such as infrastructure for energy, power and renewables, transportation, utilities, and water. Over the past 12 months, one sector of this digital infrastructure, being fiber, has particularly come to be known as a utility with it being considered in many cases as important as water and electricity. This is because fiber enables high-speed internet connectivity at a time when so many people are working from home, taking part in distance learning, or streaming the latest movie and TV releases from their home. In fact, in many countries like Germany, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, utility companies actually do provide a large portion of the fiber and internet connectivity to homes and businesses, in addition to them providing their traditional services like electricity or gas. In this video, we highlight one of these companies, namely a German company called Gasline, which is owned by 10 German gas transmission and regional distribution companies. But at the same time, Gasline also owns more than 17,400 miles or 28,000 kilometers of fiber optic infrastructure. Specifically, Gasline owns what is known as dark fiber, which is critical for connecting together all the components of digital infrastructure, including for data center connectivity and mobile infrastructure like towers and small cells. Demand for this dark fiber is being driven by significant industry trends, including the rollout of 5G, the Internet of Things, or IoT, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, augmented reality and virtual reality, and ultra-high definition video. You're probably still wondering, why would gas transmission and pipeline companies own and build a fiber network, as the two businesses are quite different in nature? However, some of the most challenging aspects of building out a gas transmission pipeline and fiber network are indeed quite similar. For example, obtaining the rights of way, franchises, licenses, and permits needed to build on land that crisscrosses entire countries is required for both types of infrastructure. Indeed, when companies build pipelines or fiber on so much land that cuts through different environments and geographies, these rights of way need to first be obtained from all different sorts of groups. These include railroads, utilities, state highway authorities, local governments, transit authorities, and many others, since the new infrastructure being built is crossing their land. And this is precisely where pipeline and fiber companies share much of the same expertise, and have also both secured the necessary approvals. So why not build both critical pieces of infrastructure at the same time? With that background in mind, let's jump into some of the specific details about German company Gasline, which is backed by companies that own gas transmission infrastructure and fiber infrastructure throughout Germany. So 25 years ago, in 1996, 10 German gas transmission and regional distribution companies teamed up to establish Gasline as an organization to provide nationwide fiber optic infrastructure services. The 10 companies that make up Gasline procure, transport, store, and deliver gas to power and heat the homes of millions of Germans. And at the same time, these companies through Gasline provide fiber connectivity. As you can see through the diagram on screen, Gasline installs its cable ducts to house the fiber about three feet or one meter underground. Additionally, these cable ducts for fiber are installed alongside the gas pipelines with about six and a half feet or two meters of separation between each other. The cable ducts are then routed within the same right-of-way passages of the high-pressure gas pipelines for thousands of miles. 
Overall, this allows for fast, reliable, and sustainable construction of new fiber networks. So who uses GasLine's network? Over 150 national and international telecommunications companies have become customers of GasLine and use the company's more than 17,400 miles or 28,000 kilometers of fiber optic network. For example, these companies could include Deutsche Telekom, Vodafone, and United Internet. They are the equivalent in the United States to Verizon, AT&T, and Comcast's Xfinity brand. Additionally, GasLine links nearly all of Germany's telecommunications and data center hubs across more than 200 cities throughout the country. Indeed, demand for fiber is strong in Germany, and this is shown by GasLine's commitment to build another 1,900 miles or 3,000 kilometers of fiber optic network by 2022. Therefore, GasLine will soon be able to offer a network spanning 19,300 miles or 31,000 kilometers of fiber. So then what does GasLine sell in terms of fiber connectivity? Well, GasLine focuses on providing what is known as dark fiber capacity. In short, dark fiber is where GasLine leases individual fiber optic cable strands on its network and provides dedicated high bandwidth fixed network capacity. This is sold mainly to other telecommunications businesses like Deutsche Telekom or Verizon, which we mentioned before. We won't go into detail about dark fiber in this video. However, if you want a detailed breakdown on that topic, then we highly recommend checking out our video titled, Why Dark and Enterprise Fiber Run the Internet. We will link to it in the description below as well. One last thing that we want to note about GasLine is that for international connections, the GasLine network links up with dark fiber networks in neighboring countries. This gives its customers the opportunity to connect onto its system in Germany and then reach the other major capital cities of Europe like London, Paris, Warsaw, and Vienna, amongst others. Finally, check out our website at dgtlinfra.com to learn more about how dark fiber is becoming an important investment theme in Europe, as it is critical for connecting together all the components of digital infrastructure. We will link to the article shown on screen in the description below. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.